In this little video, I'm going to create a little tutorial to show you in greater detail how to sew the legs for um, the knitted dolls in my books. Here um, I'm showing you a completed leg and uh, now I'll get started on showing you how they come together. Right, this is what you'll have when you've knitted the piece as I've instructed. Now, it looks a little bit odd. There's a hole just here that's created from casting off some stitches, which gives you that loop, which will form the front of the foot. And then you knit across uh, the, the stitches that are remaining on your needle after you cast off. So you'll have, you should have an even number, then you've got the break, and then you've got some more. You knit right across these, and it will always be on a purl row. Okay, so the first thing you do is to fold your leg piece so the right sides are on the inside. So you've got the uh, wrong side of your work showing on the outside here. And uh, that, that slightly weird looking piece of knitting is now looking a little bit more like a leg shape. So uh, that's what you need to do first. Now I'm showing you the underside. This is the sole of the foot. Uh, You've got uh, two sides here, and you need to sew right the way along it. If I hold it out there, I hope you can see which piece we're sewing at the moment. It's the underside of the foot, and you need to just over-sew along there, right the way along. Okay, so there you can see just a simple over-sewing over down the sole of the foot. And the next thing we'll be doing is to sew that hole just there and that will form the top of the foot. Now, I hope you can see here that I'm starting off, I'm using a separate piece of yarn to over sew the top of the foot, and I'm starting just a little, a little up the leg from where the hole is, just so that I get a really neat finish across the top of the foot. So, uh, yes, using a separate piece of yarn, just do a couple of stitches, about sort of in, in the ankle, uh, to secure your yarn. Okay, I've secured the yarn and I'm now going to over sew right from the crease at the front of the ankle to the tip of the foot just here. And this is very important. You need to, don't just over sew a little bit of the yarn, you need to sort of over sew right along this line here so that uh, you get a really neat finish. So that's what you, do, you need to do next. Right, just to uh, show you again that so you can see that I'm taking quite a big, quite a big seam there, and this is to make sure that the look across the top of the foot is is really very neat. Okay, so I've done that now, and uh, I've done the sole and the top of the foot. I still need to sew this back seam here, but I need to turn the leg uh, the right way out before I do that. And I'm going to sew that using mattress stitch, which is a, a very well known stitch among knitters and I'll show you how to do it and it creates a really neat almost invisible finish. So this is the mattress stitch. If you uh, look at the two edges of your knitting you'll see you've got sort of a rows of these stitches going on here and they've got a little running stitch like a little horizontal strip in each of them and you're basically laddering sort of under here on one side and then back to the other on the way. Every time you've done a few stitches, you see I've just done the first few stitches here, you need to um, pull it up fairly tightly. If you don't do that every few stitches, then by the time you come to pull it up, it'll be very hard, if not impossible, to do it. And uh, you'll be left with a sort of a loopy baggy seam and basically you'll really have to undo it. So don't forget to pull it up tightly every few stitches. Fairly tightly, but not so tightly, obviously, that it puckers. A sort of silly little tip, really, but I find it quite useful as I'm sewing, just to sort of to stick my finger down the leg, and it just makes it a little bit um, easier to work. You, you probably find your own way of doing it, but this is just what works for me. Right here, you shouldn't really uh, be able to see a join, but uh, that's my back seam coming along quite nicely. I'm almost, almost half the way there now. Now, you see, I've just got uh, the back of the foot to do now, but before I stitch that final bit, I'm going to stuff the foot. This isn't essential, but because the leg's quite thin, I find that if I stuff the foot before 
I sew that last bit of the back seam. I haven't got to sort of dig right down the leg and get a little bit of stuffing into the corner. So I can recommend you do that. As I say, not essential, but it will save you a bit of time. Okay, so I've um, poked the stuffing into the foot. There's just a little bit sort of going up the ankle there, you can probably see. And now I'm just going to simply sew down to the heel and uh, then all I need to do is stuff the top of the leg. And here they are, uh, my finished legs. Just need to add a little bit more stuffing and then they'll be ready to sew on my doll. Thanks for watching.